Welcome back everyone to another Downward Day. And today, panic is in the air. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm recording this on March 13th, 2023. Mere days after the second and third largest bank collapses in United States history. That's right, we thought we were done. We thought we were done after 2008. They told us, oh, there's no way it could ever happen again. Sorry guys, we screwed up. We almost collapsed the entire US economy. Won't happen again. It's happening again, potentially. Depends on uh, several extenuating factors, uh, whether or not they transpire over the next couple weeks. We will see. We will see if there is still a financial system left by the end of this month. And over this past weekend, there has been a lot of worrying, a lot of worrying in the financial sector, saying, oh man, there's no way this can really be happening again, right? There's been wild, wild speculation about what's gonna happen on this Monday when the markets open up, when the banks reopen for business. Some people are sounding the alarm bells and predicting massive lines massive lines in front of the banks today of people rushing to get their money out of our rapidly disintegrating financial system. So today on the Downward Diary, we're taking a little field trip to witness what is quite possibly a downward event, a live downward spiral event transpiring in real time. We'll let you know in just a bit what we end up seeing. All right, so I'm here at the bank there's currently really uh, nothing going on. There was supposed to be an immense panic, I was told, but uh, I guess clearly the terminally online out here have not gotten the memo. I went into the bank earlier to do a little bit of reconnaissance and there were about four people in line. The building was mostly empty. I went to go use the ATM and they still had cash, so if you guys are looking to maybe salvage some of your lifetime earnings. The only thing you have to show for years and years of wage slaving away, there's still time, folks. There's still plenty of time. All right, I'm standing here with fellow bank customer and money suckle associate, Rusty Cage. Rusty, what have you been doing today to deal with the financial disaster that is currently unfolding? Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. The banks are collapsing. Your money's about to be worthless as long as you leave it in their vaults. So, I did the smart move. Pulled the last of my uh, savings out. I'm gonna go behind this bridge down the road. There's a guy over there who says he's gonna sell me some crypto. So, that's what I'm using my last uh, long dollar on because I know it's gonna pay off in the end. All right, thank you for tuning in to the one minute Money Suckle <laughs> reunion. Hopefully, um, Rusty, why did we stop doing that? Look what happened when we stopped doing the show. Look what happened when we stopped giving out these hot stock tips. No one knew what stocks to buy. Everyone just invested their money in the wrong thing and went bankrupt. They invested in crap. They weren't paying attention when we were talking. And when we stopped talking, they weren't listening. So, sorry everyone. We kind of... Sorry for collapsing the financial system. Yeah, um, I'll take responsibility. All right, well, I gotta go get this Bitcoin. I'll catch y'all later. Man, uh, there's really not much going on in there. Uh, I, I was expecting this video to be a little bit more eventful when I came out here. All the talk online that this was the end of civilization as we knew it. Uh, doesn't appear, the message doesn't appear to have gotten through to the, the normies out here, the general population. And you know what, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe this will give the valued members of the Downward Diary viewer base a chance to go to their banks and take all the money out. Take it out. This is the final suckle. This is why Money Suckle was created. To get ready to warn you all about the final suckling. It's happening. It's gonna happen. It might not be now, but it will be one day. Someday soon. The final suckling is taking place. Rusty, I think I might be at the wrong end of the store. I don't see the massive line of 100 people trying to rapidly get their money out. I know, it, it feels like there's an awareness that we are responsible for. I think uh, perhaps people don't realize 
that the banks are collapsing and this is your last opportunity to take all of your life savings out as quick as possible before they run out of cash. I mean, I'm sure some people have heard about it. Everyone on Twitter was talking about it. Uh, come, come on, let's let's look for, let's look for where where the line of people is. I mean, I guess there's a guy over here at the ATM getting something, but that's just one guy. Uh, there's uh, maybe maybe it's here at the back. I don't see anyone. I'm sorry. Like I'm I'm, I'm trying to deliver an interesting experience here. For the downward diary viewers and this is just turning into a very underwhelming product well listen if you and i both take all of our money out then perhaps that'll start to set things in motion the viewer retention is rapidly waning there's uh there's like uh not much all right well the line's not over here okay maybe maybe we got to check out front all right no skateboarding by the way no soliciting it's not even like normal business, it looks like. It's like there's less than the normal number of people here. Yeah, really, yeah, really does. I mean, like, we're downtown, people park here all the time for events, and plenty of parking spaces are open right now. Plenty are open. Oh, I see China has very much infiltrated our banking system. That's good to know. Maybe there's people up here, no? ATM's completely empty. Maybe there's stuff on this side. I don't know. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, another empty ATM. Imagine my shock. Another entrance to the store there. Also, no one waiting. Man, I'm sorry guys, I really am. I thought this video was gonna be a lot more interesting, but uh, it ended up being a big nothing burger. I mean, what gives? What gives, all right? These giant panic events they're talked about online. They're supposed to be real. They're supposed to be real, you know. One day it's gonna be. One day it's gonna be. It's actually gonna be real. All the complaining and panicking online. You're gonna wish you had listened to it. You're all gonna wish you'd been plugged in and terminally online and reacting horribly and having a panic attack for every little insignificant thing that happens in the world. But uh, sheesh, when it comes to the uh, panic patrol, it looks like today is not our lucky day. <sighs> well, I guess I did a little bit more investigating, went inside the bank, had a conversation with one of the tellers, asking them if they saw any crazy interesting stuff today. He said, no, it's been pretty normal. There are several people in line, but it seemed like the line was only there because the service was kind of slow, and not because anyone was panicking or anything. It actually looked like more people were depositing money than withdrawing, which is uh, what was supposed to be happening today. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Why do I even make videos, huh? Why do I make videos? This is just... I try to go out and do interesting things. Interesting things are supposed to be happening out in the world and it's just like, uh, there's nothing, there's nothing worth seeing. It's just business as usual. Everything's just business as usual. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I wish. Sometimes I actually think. You know, man, the one time, the one time I thought something interesting was actually gonna happen. Uh, I guess not, I guess everything's just gonna go back to normal. Another downward spiral averted. I think the news came out today that the government's gonna fully bail out the depositors. So the whole contagion, the liquidity crisis everyone was worried about ended up not materializing. Stocks are up. Uh, I guess everything's going back to normal. I mean, I, I guess those three banks really did get shut down, but it seems like it's not really gonna amount to anything. So I guess that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this entertaining video where nothing happens the whole time. It makes me very proud of what I've created. Hopefully in the next one, something of note will actually happen.